Nothing says sailboats like Nicki Minaj. Yes. These people are, are actually out on a sailboat bumping Miss Minaj. I love it. <laughs> okay, here you go. It's actually rolling. This way, this way. Hey, what's up, DJ? Two Homo Style Wise checking in from San Francisco, California. Now, today, what I'm going to talk to you about is how to talk to people about your DJ services in a way that communicates your value. So this is a very common problem, most a lot of DJs, even some of the most talented DJs in the game. I've had DJs who've been in the mix for 20 plus years that are still trying to develop a powerful and clear way to communicate the value of what it is that they do as a DJ. And uh, just like that bike rolling through, Sometimes the shit can get interrupted, okay? So if your success has been like this, you know, there's been interruptions followed by periods of awesomeness, what I'm gonna say to you right now uh, is really gonna help you out with that. So first and foremost, consistent hustle is missing from most DJs experience. So a common mistake, one of the biggest mistakes that DJs make when it comes to trying to achieve consistent success is not consistently marketing and promoting yourself, right? So at the baseline, this is the bare minimum, you need to be putting out mixes on a regular basis. So that's key one, but that's not just it, right? Because it's not about putting mixes out there, it's about having the right people hear what you do. You could put out mixes forever and still not get any gigs. And why? That's because people hearing your stuff isn't what equals gigs. Decision makers hearing your stuff is what equals gigs, okay? So it's not just about putting mixes out there. It's about putting mixes out there in front of decision makers. So what you wanna do is identify who those, who those decision makers are and then market to them on a regular basis. And this doesn't always have to be in the form of explicit intentional marketing. Right? Once you establish a relationship with the decision maker, what you want to do is just continue to keep that relationship in good standing. So short and po uh, excuse me, brief and positive interactions is probably the best, most effective method that I've found for this. I call it the short and sweet method. The short and sweet method is just a really fancy way of saying have brief and positive conversations on a regular and consistent basis with decision makers. So do that and continue to put out mixes, you combine those two things and you're going to experience more success and get more gigs as a result. Now, another common thing and probably one of the biggest things is how to communicate the value of what you do as a DJ. So how do you do that, right? A lot of DJs have been DJing forever and they're confused about how to actually communicate the value of what it is that they do. Some DJs aren't even sure about what that is in the first place, right? Now, there is a lot of things that are valuable about DJing. But what's important with this is to go back to the basics, right? Go back to the fundamentals. And those things are easy to miss or easy to forget when you've been DJing for a really long time, especially if you've been DJing like 10, 15 years, to go back to the fundamentals and remember what it is that was valuable, what it is that you like about DJing in the first place is something that can be a challenge. So. First and foremost, think about what the function of a DJ is, right? Think about what a DJ does for a crowd versus an iPod. Okay, what makes the difference, right? You would, DJs tend to think that the value, what's valuable about what they do is the music. And that's a mistake. That's one of the least valuable things about what you do. Now it's important and it is valuable, right? It's incredibly important that you understand the music that you're playing and uh, it's important that you're good at at the music selection and you have a decent and developed music library. But what's even more important than that is what the music does for you. In other words, the benefit of what you play, not necessarily what you play. In marketing, they would call this the distinction between features and benefits, right? And it's very simple. And very simply put, it just means what's more important to them is how they benefit from something. What's less important to them is what that thing is, okay? So understanding how your music benefits people, how it improves their life, what 
happens when you DJ that causes people to enjoy themselves is the thing that makes you happy. Okay? And when you're talking to decision makers, these are the kind of things that you want to think about and the kind of things you want to communicate that you understand. Because these are things that most DJs don't understand. So just by virtue of watching this video, thinking about these kind of things, you're going to better understand the value of what you do as a DJ. And then as a result of that, you're going to be able to communicate better what's valuable about what you do as a DJ, which will, of course, cause you to get more gigs and better gigs. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment box. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. This is Stylewise. I wear my stunner glasses at night so I can so I can go out <laughs>